The medical model versus the independent living model. Steve O'Connell, Boston, Massachusetts. Some examples of uh, medical model. Well, like I said, you know, Ed didn't go to the doctor very often in the two and a half years that I took care of him, but we, we did make some modifications. Um, we put in a sip and puff control system in his house. Uh, that was brand new technology at the time. I mean, it was brand new. Sip and puff technology is used in tons of things today. You don't even, in, in my business in the rehab technology field, it's, it's considered low tech now. But he had a sip and puff system installed. He could answer the phone. He could unlock the front door. He could uh, turn on and off the television, turn on and off the lights. And it was a little box attached to the, right by the eye and lung. And he could just, you know, suck, suck, blow, open the front door when someone rang on it. You know, blow, blow, suck, suck, blow, turned on the television. Um, but he was instrumental in working on that, getting that technology out. You know what I mean? They, they would talk to him about it. Uh, and when he had that installed, those are the kinds of things he was focused on as opposed to walking again or not having to use his respirator as much. He, he wasn't interested in, 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 in working on the vessel. He was much more interested in interacting with the world than fixing the vessel. And, you know, so I, I, that's a good way to put it. He wasn't interested in the medical model whatsoever. He was interested in having as much contact with the world as he could, you know, and taking it all in.